Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. Yep, having a look at another sharp and shiny folder. Another one from Imperial Shrade. And this is a truly what I consider old school. Let's check it out. Like I said, this is the one from Imperial Shrade. And this is the model IMP22Y. I believe that stands for the Imperial model 22 yellow and here it is here and you can see it right there very plain typical pocket knife i gotta say that when i saw this i thought i gotta have a look at this and you can see here i'm opening it up it is a, a very basic folding one bladed pocket knife this is the second knife I've got from Imperial Shrade. And I've got to tell you that their pricing for the value you get, it's pretty good. And that's what's impressed me about them. And having seen this guy, which is what I consider to be old school, it's basically a pocket knife. That's it. Nothing fancy. No fancy names, no fancy blades. This is simply a one-bladed folding pocket knife. The handle, straightforward. You can see on there it does have the uh, Imperial. And on the blade here, it gives the model number. Hopefully you can see that. Light's a little bright here. Has a nail neck, very plain. The blade, I want to say a drop point. Straightforward, nothing fancy plain grind on it I got to tell you that I've looked at <laughs> quite a few folders lately and this one I really like why simple what you're getting here is a true old school pocket knife the handle here like you say like I said is yellow has the two pins here and the big pin here, which is obviously where it pivots on. Nice and smooth, no sharp points to it on the handle or anything like that. The blade, sharp, simple, straightforward, good old fashioned pocket knife cutter that for me would be a great knife to carry in my pocket at work. As simple as it is, this is a real pocket EDC carry around in your pocket to do everything you need it to do. Imperial Shrade, and they just call it a pocket knife. Now let's have a little closer look at the specs on it. So looking at it here, here it is folded up. The length closed like this, about 3.7 inches from here to there. The blade length, 2.7 inches. The thickness of the blade is 0 0.09 inches. And it's a fairly healthy blade, you can see that. It's not one of those thin little guys. It is a liner lock. Hopefully, can you see that lifting up there? See, right here. Um, try and get it focused a little bit better. Basic knife. Loving this knife. <laughs> Don't know why I haven't looked at one of these before. The handle. Let's have a look at the handle length. 3.7 inches. It is a plastic handle. Very smooth. Has almost a waxy feel to it. It's a celluloid, so plastic handle. Like I said before, that celluloid, very popular, and it makes for a great handle. The skins on here are nice and smooth, fairly thick. It does get a little brittle, but you, there's no way you can bend this. <laughs> Maybe dropping or hitting it with a hammer or something like that might crack it for your everyday use. That's no problem there at all. No, bol no bolsters. No bolster here or there. Simple, plain liner lock nail notch that's it total weight it's not that heavy it's it's got a little bit of weight to it but you're looking at uh 0.12 pounds which is nothing perfect for me i'm just shocked at how impressed i am with this such a simple knife you know you have all these other ones you've got congress you've got the canoe you, the boy scout knives that have all these different blades on them blade shapes styles and everything for me this knife will probably do what I needed to do there. Nice and simple. I just can't state that enough. This is probably the closest knife 
I've come to that I had growing up or saw other people carrying. It's just typical old school. Now, the Imperial Knife Company was formed way, way back, 1916, by, I believe they were brothers, the Murano brothers. I'm going to say Felix and Michael Murano uh, started the Imperial Knife Company. At the time, they were actually working for a different uh, knife company, and I believe it was Empire Knife Company, a big company, very popular. They started working there and then started their own company. They called it Imperial. And obviously, over time, uh, they were bought by Schrade, and then Schrade's been bought by other people. But they still produce them under the Imperial name. So they've been around by far. This knife impresses me more than any of the others I've seen, simply because the simplicity of it. I know that sounds corny, but look at it. It's just a pocket knife. How much did I pay for this? Well, that much. And you can't beat that price. You could buy a couple of these, throw them in your drawer, and as you go through them, break them, bend them, lose them, just grab another one. For that price and what you're getting here, you can't beat that value. Looking for a workhorse pocket knife? I think this is going to work for you. This would be a good work EDC. I've just got a uh, piece of wood here that I, I've been whittling on. I find random pieces of wood and I just like to cut them up and try different things with them. And this was a, a very nice piece of wood. You can see it's got that, the bug, what I call the bug pattern on it. The bugs underneath the, the bark of the wood have got there and, and made these little patterns as they work their way around underneath. Use the knife here, like I said. It is a drop point. Uh, nice and thick, I like that. And I will say it has a good edge here. I bet you could strike a ferro rod. Mm -hmm. The problem with it is it's a liner lock. And pushing down this way, the blade's going to come down, so I wouldn't recommend using it for that, but I just thought I'd point that out. A nice sharp 90 on it. I'm just going to cut into this wood here and see how it does. And it's getting right in there. This is a hard piece of wood. I like to cut this style wood because it really tests the knife blade and how it handles. And for whittling, it works just fine. I'm just trying to make these... Uh, spirals here as deep as I can with a spiral before something goes wrong like I break it it's it's cutting just fine see it's just zipping right into that wood no problem and all I'm managing to do here right now is make a mess it's sharp nice and simple blade gonna be easy to sharpen easy to keep sharp by the way it is a stainless steel and I got, uh, I looked at a couple of different descriptions on that. And what they said, one said it was 400. That's all they said, stainless steel 400. And then obviously the other one is the 3CR13MOV, which is, I believe, the, the Chinese stainless steel. And I've never had a problem with that. Keep its uh, edge a little bit better. I've been whittling with it, so um, you'll see, well, look, it this just regular paper you can see how clean that is so it comes sharp and i did notice that with the other one i got from them it came sharp a pocket knife that's it i'm impressed what do you think do you like this idea just a straight pocket knife or you uh, prefer a couple of different options on a folding knife with maybe two or three extra blades on it this certainly has its place. Don't forget now, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back. I got to say, for me, this is going to be hard to beat. That price and the value you're getting on this, you can't beat it. You always be careful out there when playing with them sharp and shinies. Thanks for watching. Take care now. See you again soon. Bye.